Hi and welcome to my channel. Hola y bienvenidos a mi canal. Today I have for you is a stuffed bell pepper. It's un relleno de chili campana. If you guys want to see how I make this, quieren ver cómo lo hago, por favor siguen viendo. Keep on watching. The star of the show are 14 bell peppers. As you can see, I've already, you know, deveined and cleaned. They're pre-washed. La estrella de esta escena es las chili campanas y aquí tengo 14. Ya están prelavados y ya están limpiados, as you can see. Okay. And there's 14. Total, 14. Okay, the other ingredients are going to be tomatoes already cubed. I have celery that's cubed. I already have onion that is cubed. And we're going to use chicken broth to coat the pan. And we have cheese as the stuffer. So, de nuevo, son jitomates ya picados en cubos, el apio picado en cubos, el cebolla picado en cubos, vamos a usar caldo de pollo reducido de sodio y queso para rellenar. Another ingredient we're going to use is this white rice that we're going to use for the stuffing as well, once you see. Aquí es arroz que ya tenemos cocidos, blanca, la vamos a usar para rellenar los chili campanas. Here we have ground beef and this is uh, almost six pounds, but I'm going to use it all but what doesn't get stuffed into the bell peppers we are going to save and store away so aquí lo que tengo es carne molida son casi seis libras lo que vamos a hacer es cocer todo y lo que no quepan adentro de los rellenos las vamos a guardar siguen viendo to the pan we're going to add oil vamos a agregar aceite a la sartén y vamos a agregar un poco de sal abajo add a little bit of salt let it heat up. Then we're going to add the ground beef. Vamos a agregar el ground beef. So to here, we're going to go ahead and add some garlic powder, uh, ajo en polvo o granulado. We're going to add black pepper. Everything to your liking. Pimentón, comino, cumin, and some more salt. And we're just going to go ahead and let it sit for a minute. We're going to cover it la vamos a tapar. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uncover it really quick and give it a good mix. Mine's still kind of frozen, but I have it on low right now so it kind of falls through. We're going to go ahead and cover again and let it cook down. Vamos a taparle y dejarlo cocinar. Okay, so while the meat is cooking, we're going to go ahead and preheat our oven to 400 degrees. And then once we input it, we're going to set it for about a half an hour to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ahora vamos a poner el horno a uh, precalentar en 400. Y cuando esté listo y, y metemos todo el orden la vamos a poner por media hora a 45 minutos ok, so we're going to go to uncover now vamos a destapar give it a quick mix ok, I have it on high now let's see where we're at and if you guys don't want the big chunks of ground beef so it fits into the bell pepper, you're going to go ahead and smash with a potato smasher. So lo que vamos a hacer es picar, si no quieren pedazos grandes, con el pachurador de papas. As you can see, the juices have reduced itself, so el jugo ya se redució. So ahora lo que vamos a hacer es, we're going to go ahead and add the onion, vamos a agregar la cebolla y we're gonna go ahead and add the apio, the celery and we're gonna go ahead and get this a good mix, ok vamos a mezclarla bien Go ahead and let it cook for about maybe three minutes. Dejar cocinar por unos tres minutos. Okay, so at this moment, I'm going to taste the ground beef to see if I have enough salt. Voy a probar a ver si tengo suficiente sal. Con lo que le eché está bien. What I've added is fine, but now we're going to go ahead and add the tomato. Vamos a 
vamos a agregar el jitomate And to the jitomate, so to the onion, we're gonna, to the tomato, we're gonna go ahead and add some salt. Agregar un poquito de sal a ese. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix. Vamos a mezclarla. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some rice. Vamos a agregar el arroz. I'm gonna probably do about three of these spoons, como tres de estos, y luego miramos. And then we're just gonna mix, okay? Go ahead and mix it, try breaking it down. The ratio on it is pretty good, okay? So, we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna shut off it. Vamos a apagar y la vamos a seguir mezclando para que guarde un poquito del jugo y no se cocina tanto el arroz. Make sure it's not too cooked all the way with the rice. You don't want to get soggy. You want it to hold its flavors there. And that's it. Eso es todo. Okay, so to this, what we're going to do is go ahead and start filling them up. Ahora las vamos a rellenar con el stuffing y el queso. So we're going to go ahead and fill it with the cheese. So first the cheese, primero el queso para rellenarlo de abajo. I'm just showing you how I do it and then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. Lo voy a adelantar rápido para que no nomás ven así. Y vamos a resolver. We're going to save some more to layer the top. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave it filled like this. And I'm going to cover with cheese. I'm going to continue doing the rest. Ahora lo vamos a dejar así, rellenado, las pachurre tantito. Y la vamos a tapar con queso. Y vamos a seguir con los demás. Ahí está el siguiente. Okay, now that we're done filling them, ya acabamos de rellenarlas, las vamos a cubrir con cheese. We're just going to cover now with cheese. Well, I finished the cheese, so I'm going to do one with pepper jack. Voy a agregarle pepper jack por lo mismo que se me terminó el queso ese. So, here's the pepper jack. I'm just going to fold it. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and stuff. Okay. And that's it. Now we're going to go ahead and add the chicken broth to the bottom. Vamos a agregarle el chicken broth abajo. Okay. Remember, chicken broth lo sorio. Say about a cup, okay? That's only to soften it. And now we're gonna go ahead and cover. La vamos a tapar con alumina. Let's try 15 minutes. Okay. Be back in a flash. You can see here, this is all that's left. Todo esto es lo que sobró. And this, you can either save, make some tacos, or grilled cheese or something. Pero see, sí, that's probably maybe like half a pound, maybe a pound of food right there. So we're gonna go ahead and store that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and save that and clean up while we're waiting on the Stuffed up peppers. Ahorita nos vemos. Nomás voy a limpiar y a guardar esto. Nos vemos ahorita. No, they weren't done. No estaban, pero a half an hour, pero ya tienen tres minutos. I put in half an hour more, and it's already been like three minutes. So keep so watching. with this, we're going to go ahead and have refried beans, pero loose, like watered. 
uh, frijoles fritos pero aguados y ya está en el canal pero aquí los voy a mostrar lo, cómo lo comemos with the bell peppers so aquí hay aceite little oil lard I'm gonna do about a spoon of flour and we're just gonna go ahead and let this turn brown golden brown la vamos a dejar hacer golden brown okay Okay, now that it's golden brown, we're going to go ahead and add our beans. Okay, now that it's filled, we're gonna go ahead and smash. Vamos a pachurrarlos, pero no mucho. Now you see, it's a little thick, so I'm gonna add some more juice. Como lo ve, está medio grueso y la queremos un poquito más aguado, so vamos a echar puro caldito de frijol. Just bean juice to loosen it. Because we want it to be spreadable. Okay, so that's how it works. As you guys can see, it's not too thick. Y no muy aguado, so we're just going to let it come to a boil while we have about a minute left on the relleno. So un minuto más en el relleno. And that's it. If you like cheese, I gotta get más queso, pero we are just going to do it like this because the relleno already has enough cheese. So. Okay, ahorita mira, me sirve. ¿Cuánto me falta ahí arriba? 34 seconds. Oh, yeah. Well done. Vamos a ver qué delicias. We're all done. Mm. Qué rico. So we're all done. I'm going to serve up my plate. Ahora me voy a servir. Les voy a enseñar y también voy a calentar unas tortillas rapidito. If you got to the end and you guys like what you see, please give us a like, subscribe, and share. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Si llegaron al final del video, gracias por verlo. Si les gustaron lo que vieron, por favor, dame un like, suscríbanse si son nuevos y com comparten. Si son nuevos, bienvenidos. Have a good night. Que tengan un feliz día, noche o lo que sea donde están viendo. Have a good night, you guys. Or good day, depending on what time you're watching this video. Bye for now. Vamos a meterlo al horno. Vamos a ver si puedo con el vino.
So, se ve que todavía les falta. I think I'm going to put it up to 450. I'm going to put it up to about 450. So, I can get it to mount now, okay? So, vamos a echarlo para atrás al horno. Se ve, la tenía en el horno de abajo y no de arriba. Este es una serie. Voy a echar otros 15 minutos y ahorita miramos. Ok, 